This is what it looks like when a flood hits your neighborhood and you lose everything. We're on the west side of Houston, which just days ago was underwater. For this family, Hurricane Harvey brought the third flood in four years to completely ruin their home. So what did you see when you came back? Everything got flooded, all our furniture, gone. all everything gone. Everything like this. Exactly. Really empty right now. Our dining room, all our bedroom, sets, sofa, everything gone. How does it feel to be in your four year old's yeah, room? Yeah, that, that's flight. the saddest part because, you know, when you see it and you're like, we had, you work on it and you decorate it, you see he loves the solar system and you know, everything's gone. The first time we walked in, when he, we came with him on Tuesday, um, I was taking photos for the insurance company and he just went like this, stop, mommy. And I'm like, what? No photos. I don't want bad memories. Aww. So that was, like, it was just like heartbreaking. So and then he understands? He, he understands completely. Did the other floods traumatize him? The first one was the most traumatizing for him because, it, you know, he would just be afraid of the water. He, every time it rained, he would just freak out. After the first one, even when it would rain for a little bit, he would start picking up his toys and put them on top of the table. Without a saying Without anything. Without saying anything. I mean, Without it wasn't even, it could be just like a little bit of rain and he would start picking up his toys and put them on top of the table and lift them up. And we would ask him why he's doing it. It's like, just in case it gets flooded. Yeah. So some people live their whole lifetime and never see a natural disaster and yeah. he's seen three exactly. in his four year life. Yeah. That's right. yeah. What is the feeling when you step foot in your home after this and it happened twice before? Yeah. What did you feel? The very first time it was very devastating, very downer. We were depressed. We were like, what do we do? We didn't even know how to do anything. This time we were with a different, I think, attitude. We yeah. just came in, let's clean, let's do this, let's get everything out. I think that's one of the, one of the benef benefits that we got is that the, the experience that we gained from the first two times. So, so someone like, might be thinking, you know, this is obviously not a safe place to live. You've had three floods in the span of your four-year-old child's life. Why not move? A lot of people say, you know, why don't you sell the house? And it's, it's one of the questions we hate the most because we have a mortgage to pay and it's not as easy as somebody's going to come and purchase a home from you. The second time, we weren't even finished re repairing the house from the first flood oh my God. when we got hit again. Yeah. And now it's like, who's going to buy a house three times. flooded three times in a year? Yeah. You know, it's not, it's no, nobody's going to purchase a home in that kind of condition. The home flooded in 1998 and in 2001 before Norman Israel bought it. But FEMA didn't let them access the records until they owned the house. They said that if they knew it had flooded twice, they wouldn't have bought it. So even though you guys have flood insurance, how much did you come out of pocket for the other two floods? I would I say probably like 50000 50000 mm -hmm. And this one mm -hmm. will be... We don't know. Well, this one we don't know. We don't know what's, we don't the, know. what's the point, you know. The but first time they, they tell us, oh, this is just once in a hundred year type of flood. And it happened three times in three years. And now this is the one in 500 year flood. So it's like, really? So, I mean, I don't know. If it's something that the city can do, I don't know if I don't know what it is, but we kind of put a stop and see what kind of options we have, or then they just repair and wait for the next one.